Time for your morning news now. Americans of all ages and political backgrounds are sending prayers to former President Jimmy Carter. The 98-year-old Democrat who served one term in the White House from 1977 to 1981 is in home hospice care after several stays in the hospital. Carter is the longest living president in American history. Well, makeup is an everyday necessity for plenty of people, but those magic products don't last forever. Mayo Clinic Health System experts say using expired makeup can be hazardous. They can grow bacteria and could clog your pores. Experts say it's a good idea to limit the products you buy. Less is more, so you're better off investing in three or four really great products that you're going to use, that you really like, that you enjoy putting on your face. Um, and then they're used up before you even have to think about an expiration date. Experts say use pencil eyeliner that usually lasts about a year and lipsticks expire after one or two years. If you're not sure when your makeup expires, there's usually a picture of an open jar on your product that has the number of months you can use it for once it's open. A Campbell teenager who was missing for around four weeks has been found safe. The Campbell Police Department said in a Facebook post Saturday evening that 15-year-old Jaden Halverson was located. Halverson ran away from home on January 22nd. The department thanked everyone who shared their original posts. Well, it was a busy weekend at Mount Lacrosse. Over 400 athletes competed at the Wisconsin State High School Ski and Snowboard Championships. The three-day event brought over 3,000 people to Mount Lacrosse. The 30th annual event kicked off on Saturday with three different snowboarding events for boys and girls. Sunday, there are three different ski events, including boys and girls, slalom, and the giant slalom. Mount Lacrosse manager Darcy Breedle says the weather was perfect. It's such a beautiful day to be outside in the sun and watching these athletes compete. Um, there's some really good talent here this weekend, and we're super proud and um, happy to host this event again. The Wisconsin State Ski and Snowboard Championship is the largest high school race in the U.S. Volunteers say the event also attracted athletes from across the globe. There will be three more events later today. The Boys Giant Slalom is the first on the schedule and that starts at 830. And as winter nears its end, so is ice fishing season. The Wisconsin DNR says today is the day to take some permanent ice shanties off the ice. This deadline comes to prevent any safety hazards. Today's deadline applies to shanties along the Wisconsin and Iowa boundary waters. The Wisconsin-Minnesota boundary water deadline is March 1st and inland waters are March 5th. If you are having problems removing your ice shanty, the DNR urges you to seek help from local fishing clubs or vendors. If you see a shanty that has not been removed, you can report them by texting 1-800-TIP-WNDR. News8000.com has more information on those deadlines. And as you head out the door this morning, our temperatures are into the mid-teens and 20s under those cloudy skies. And throughout the rest of the day, I do expect mostly cloudy weather conditions too, with temperatures into those mid to upper 30s, mid-morning to early afternoon, followed by the low 40s here come the late afternoon hours. A slight chance of snow is possible, but it does look like the majority of the snow will be mainly focused to the north with this weak clipper system moving through. However, there are winter storm watches here going into effect uh, as we head into 6 p.m. Tuesday through 6 p.m. Thursday. So we're watching a pretty powerful system that will move in to give us some heavy snow anywhere between 6 to 12 inches from Tuesday evening through 6 p.m. Thursday. This can make travel very difficult, especially with those gusty conditions to 45 miles an hour that could blow around and drift all that snow across the area too that we're expecting. We do have those alert days in effect starting Tuesday and continuing through Thursday. And then after that, we're looking much drier, colder here for Friday too. Then we're warming up this weekend as highs climb back up into the mid thirties. Next best chance of uh, wintry precipitation looks like it's going to be early next week on Monday. But we are seeing that mostly sunny on Sunday, yeah, which is really nice to, to see. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, we're at that final stretch of, you know, the cold season. Still got uh, early March here to work with too, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching News 8 Now this morning, and thanks for waking up with us. Don't forget to keep up with news of the day on News8000.com, and we'll see you back here at noon.